All right, so now we'll set the lathe up for threading. Now I've got my threading bit in here and I've got it squared up to the workpiece here. So that's the first thing. I've got my compound set on 30. I, I like to feed with my compound. So we're going to be feeding with our compound. We know our thread depth is 95. So we're feeding on a 30 degree angle. So that would be a hundred thousands we have to feed on the compound. Setting up the lathe here, uh, we're talking, this is Imperial right here on the placard and if I come down here to uh, 8 threads per inch that's LB1T so I know over here I know that that uh, my gears are set up for an L and we've turned this lever to B we've got our leather lever down here on one this leather lever on T and this lever on V which we're on the V placard so we should be all ready to, to uh, get started and I'll do a little scratch on this thing and we'll just double check and make sure we're getting our eight threads per inch. So I've got the first side turned and uh, you notice I've left this a little bit long on this end so that I'll have room to cut the center out of it. And here I've just turned this back far enough to give it a reference so that when I do put it in the mill I can touch off and know how far down to go to turn the correct size flat uh, to make the square on this end. So there we go we'll turn it around and lathe we'll clamp on the threads I'll put something soft in here I've got some some uh, roof flashing some thin aluminum roof flashing I think will work for that so we'll cut some pieces of that to put so that the three jaw doesn't uh, uh, mar these threads up
So now we're ready for some mill work. And we have to cut these flats on the end of the screw threads. So what I'll do is I'll put it in the mill. I'll touch off here, go down the proper amount, the prescribed amount, mill, rotate it in the vise, touch, go down, and so on and so forth. You can see next to the old screw now what I've got. I've got enough length here that I can cut off the end and get rid of the center. And uh, when I get the flats cut, then I'll cut them in half and take it back to the lathe, dress off the end of these uh, two shafts, and dress off the end of the square and on each one, and then it'll be done. Alright guys, this is a wrap on these uh, two screws we made for these clamps. We've got the clamps all painted up. Uh, here's the old screws that came out of it. Here's a 12 inch scale. Just kind of let you have an idea of the size of these. And uh, here, here's my hand for a reference. So I have a pretty large hand. And uh, these are pretty big, pretty big heavy duty clamps. And uh, these are 1 inch 8 threads and uh, cut out of a solid bar. These are, these are not die cut, these are machine cut threads. And uh, yeah, they came out pretty good, pretty good fit. Don't want, on a C-clamp, you don't want too tight of a fit. You want them a little loose. And so I use this little insert right here, threading insert. And uh, this is about as small as you can use for a one inch eight thread. I've, I've cut as small as like, uh, uh, 27 threads per inch and now I did 8 threads per inch I can tell you that's about as big as you can go um, with this threading insert before you step up to the next size so now here we are a couple days after Christmas and I want to uh, wish you a happy new year I hope that uh, you and your family had as good a Christmas as my family and I did and uh, so we'll end this one right here and I got to say, this is Mike signing out. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.